I must admit, I've never been a great Porsche fan, but maybe I need educating, and that's part of the purpose today. I learned many years ago that you can easily misjudge a model by one bad example. So, I'm looking forward to trying this car. Now, some years ago at Porta Press, we produced a book on the 911, 911 scrapbook. And I have to admit that the whole experience left me totally confused by the vast number of names, and they're all the same. Even today, the Porsche website lists no less than 20 variations on the 911 theme. Now, of course, the 911 has been part of the motoring landscape since 1963, and in May 2017, production reached the magic one million mark. Today, I'm going to be driving a 1987 3.2 Carrera Cabriolet. Some 70,000 of this model were produced, of which 20,000 were Cabriolets. The 3.2 produces 230 brake horsepower, has a top speed of 150 miles an hour, and can reach 60 miles an hour in a shade under six seconds. So that sounds pretty impressive. Although I have to say, my 1960 E-Type will do 150 miles an hour, but no doubt this is restricted to 150 to please the do-gooders. Of course, the 911 has always had a reputation of biting the unwary, and car and driver end up in the scenery. I'm hoping very much that I won't experience that today, and so is the owner. When driving this, one thing I have noticed is that the pedals are very much offset, and they do take a bit of getting used to. And it is something of a problem, but you soon get used to it, to be honest. I'm told that one of the best features of this particular model is the Getra gearbox. And I have to say, when driving it, that was a feature I particularly did enjoy. I think it's a very nice gear change, and that is so important with the pleasure of driving a car. Maybe one of the downsides of older cars is that the gearbox is not always so pleasurable, and it is part of the whole driving experience, obviously. One of the features I liked was the fact that the visibility is particularly good. And with the engine in the wrong place, the steering, not surprisingly, is very light, very pleasant, very responsive. And for a cabriolet, considering it's an open top, rag top car, it's really quite sophisticated and you wouldn't be aware particularly that you're in a convertible. So there we are. 1987, Porsche 911, 3.2, Carrera Cabriolet. One of the great things about the 911, of course, is with its immensely long life, they have evolved. All the various variations have, of course, brought many, many improvements. And by the time of the G-Series, many of the, mm, the not such perhaps good characteristics of the early cars, where they would indeed bite, have been ironed out. So, good performance, good brakes, super gear change, light steering, excellent all round. And in fact, now I am a convert, I thoroughly enjoyed it.